now we're looking at the Alicona versus the Riversi. This is a very short section because if you are standing correctly, this attack really should come at you very often, but it will happen. So with the sword by itself, he says we're going to simply stay on Corvo, but we have to turn our body to do that, and then follow on with the thrust. So if they're standing to our right, for example, we are simply going to readjust our positioning. So instead of being here, we're going to be here, and that brings us to unicorn or unicorn position, and we strike to the flank. And because of the fact that the sword is right there, I need to make sure that we're coming right back to uh, Anikorno. Because Anikorno tends to like to go back to itself as much as possible, just like the left of guards do. If instead we go low, just like we did before, we want to pull the leg back and strike to the base of our arm. So we go here, pull that back, and pull that back, and cut. Uh, Norsa doesn't show any entrade thing, any entrade positions yet. Next up, we can pick the dagger up. We have the same first action where we are here. We reposition, we position ourselves, thrust, and come back. We can also use the dagger to parry here, and this is important to removing the weapons in the right order, <laughs> otherwise you can find this quite difficult to do. So the reverse is coming, you're going to step across and strike to the inside of their leg, the right leg with a mandrito. So here we step across and cut to their leg. And of course if they go to a leg with the, with the reverse, we do the exact same thing we've always done. This really hasn't changed. Let them walk onto it or cut their hand as it's extending. Finally, when we go to the cloak, we will in fact see it. Interesting how we haven't seen it yet, but now it makes its first appearance, first and final appearance. And another cloak defense. So we are in Unicorn. The Odivara Soap of any kind comes in, we're going to bring this down, drive the thrust through their chest or face. We can also use the cloak defense, much like we did with the, with the dagger. So we're here, step across, and cut to the leg. Finally, if they go for the leg, we're going to do the same thing, except that we don't have the mandrito available because the cloak is almost certainly going to be in the way. So it's simply holding back, thrust to the face, ending up in a chinky on leg position. Last up we have the two thrusts, and I will conclude Adikorno.